outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And today, our guests are a sea otter. Oh, whoa, that's cool. And a vulture. Uh, a vulture? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. What is it that I've heard about vultures? Oh, well, vultures are big, graceful birds that fly oh. through the sky. Ooh. And, of course, they eat what other animals leave behind. Oh, you mean like leftovers? Uh, sort of, Stinky. You mm. see, oh, vultures right. usually eat animals that are dead. Uh, oh, well, I... They what? Well, that's how they eat. I mean, that's what that's what they do to survive. Oh, well, that means I better not stand still too long or that vulture might eat me. <laughs> Stinky. Where is he? Stinky. No, no. Vultures mm. do a very important job. Yeah, yeah, right. When vultures eat things that are dead, they help to stop the spread of, of disease and sickness. Well, I guess that part's good. Well, why don't you just give him a chance? Oh, all right. Okay. We'll be right back after this with a sea otter and a vulture. Where is he? Ooh. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, how a vulture finds its dinner. Oh, I know, I know. He yells, uh, hey, dinner, where are you? No, Armstrong. What? Vultures find their food by smelling for it. Oh. They have very good noses and can sniff out dinner even if it's buried underneath the ground. Even if it's underground? Whoa, Nelly. Mm, the vulture smelling dinner from high in the sky. Yeah, another animal that'll make you say, yeah. That's amazing. Stinky, you mm. can stop now. Everyone knows you're alive. Uh, not with that vulture around. Stinky, he won't even be on until later in the show. Huh? Oh. All right, then. Our first guest is an animal that spends almost all of its time in the water. Well, that's probably why they call it a sea otter, right? That's right. And now, here he is... From the coast of the northern Pacific Ocean... Plunk the sea otter. <laughs> uh, ooh. 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 <laughs> well, you know, I don't like being out of the water much, but this is not bad. Not bad indeed. Hello, Plunk. I'm Jake. And I am Stinky. Oh, it's a pleasure. Well, Plunk, we're so glad you could come here today and show us your rock. Yeah, we can't wait to see your rock. I... Rock? What does a sea otter need with a rock? Oh, rocks are very important to us sea otters. Uh, I use a rock to break open my food. Uh, like this one. That's right, Stinky. Uh. Not many other animals use tools. That's what vultures and sea otters have in common. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'll show you. See, there I am, getting ready to go looking for food. Well, where's the rock? Oh, I'll get to that in a second. First, I've got to find something good to eat, and there it is. Whoa! What is that spiky red thing? That's a sea urchin. It's very good to eat, but those spikes make it tough to get at. I bet they do. So, I grab the sea urchin. Well, where, where's the rock? Then I grab a rock. All right! Yeah, and then I swim, swim, swim back up to the top. Oh, now, time to use the rock yet? Time to use the rock, but oops! I dropped the rock. Oh. <laughs> Gotta go back and get another one. Oh. <laughs> now it's time. Finally. Finally it's time to use the rock. Give it a couple of good whacks and mm, 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 that's good eating. Well, you certainly look like you're enjoying yourself. Oh, of course. It's my favorite meal, sea urchin a la rock. Mm. <laughs> and you did it all with that little rock. Oh, let me try. Oh, uh, using the rock isn't as easy as it looks. No, well... Oh, ow! Oh, you should never use a rock without first reading the instructions. Mm. Besides using rocks, what else do sea otters do? Um, oh, we love to play. In the oh. sea? Where else? There, we just scamper and swim this way and that, lie on our backs, scrub ourselves up and just enjoy the waves. Do you even sleep on the sea? Oh, sure. It's kind of like the world's largest waterbed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, uh, how do you keep from floating away? Oh, we just wrap ourselves up in kelp. That's a kind of... Long seaweed. It, it anchors us in one place. Whoa, boy, I wouldn't mind being a sea otter, but I think I'd have to practice with the rock a little more. <laughs> no, you keep at it, Stinky. Well, thanks for being on the show, Plunk. Yeah, Plunk, thanks. No, anytime, Jake. Nice to see you both. Bye. Bye-bye, <sighs> little fella. What a nice sea otter. Well, do you want to meet mm. some other otters? Where? On Baby Talk. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Hey, ah. come.
Cousin Emmy, want to play in the water? Oh, sure, Billy. I just love the water. Okay, come on. Come on, okay, let's go. Uh, just over there. This is fun. Yeah, uh, great, I guess. Uh, gee, I'm kind of bored now, though. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, hey, look over there. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't that your mom and dad? Which one? Oh, yeah, there. that's your mom and dad. Yeah, hey, let's go play boats with the grown ups. Grown ups love doing stuff like that. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Hi, Dad. Oh, uh, son, what are you doing? Get off of me. Now, what do you think I am? Oh, you're a boat, Dad. I am not a boat. I'm a dad, and I'm trying to relax. Oh, but, Dad, Cousin Emmy's playing boats on her, Mom. She doesn't mind. Now, Emmy, I've just eaten. Must you bounce my belly? Well, Mom, all the other kids are doing it. <sighs> Emmy, get off me now, or this boat is going to sink. Sink? Hey, that would be cool. Emmy. Oh, Ma. Jake, will you play boat with me? Uh, maybe later. When uh, you're big, we could fit a whole bunch of sea otters on you. Uh, much later. And a lot of skunks, too. Much, much later. And now it's time to visit with some more animals who use rocks and other tools as they do it on their own. I can swim and I can dive as good as you have seen. I can build myself a home and I can keep it clean. I can even be the diving queen. I can do it on my own. I can do it. I can do it. Do it on your own. I can swim and I can dive as good as you have seen. I can build myself a home and I can keep it clean I can even be the diving queen I can do it on my own I can do it I can do it Do it on your own I can do it on my own I can do it I can do it Do it on your own Ooh, I never knew that animals used rocks and tools and stuff It's true you know, there's even one kind of vulture that uses a rock. Vulture? Oh, I almost forgot about them. <laughs> tizzy time! Hello, Tizzy. Uh, what's the quiz, Tiz? Here it is! And the question, is there more than one kind of otter? Give it a think. I'll be back in a bus! Been busy, Stinky and Jake? I just don't know. It's Do you hard. want to hear the question again? Yes. Yes. Ooh, here it is. Ooh. The question, is there more than one kind of otter? And the answer is yes. There are many different kinds of otters in the United States, Europe, and South America. Believe it. These otters live in coastal waters or rivers around the world. They all look like otters, but they are all just a little bit different. This is the sea otter. He's just like Plunk. He eats sea urchins, crabs, shellfish, and other fish. And as we found out, the sea otter sometimes uses a rock to break open its food. This is a European otter. She's a little bit thinner, and she lives in rivers all over Europe. This otter's favorite meal is eels. And this is the biggest otter in the world, the South American giant otter, which can grow to be as big as six feet long. They eat terrapins and piranha, a dangerous fish with very sharp teeth. Giant otters can be dangerous too, so be careful if you ever see a giant otter. These otters are all different, but they're all part of the otter family. Believe it! Uh, uh, well, it was great uh, meeting that otter, but I guess that's all we have time for today, right, Jake? Not at all, Stinky. We still have to meet that vulture. Uh, but first, it's time for today's cooking tip from Eve Saint La Roche. Uh, hey, maybe Eve's cooking will scare away the vulture. Oh. I'll get you for that, you little stinker. <laughs> Here's Eve. She loves me. She loves me a lot. She thinks I'm fantastic. 
She thinks I'm wonderful. She loves me absolutely a lot and then, then loves me a bo ah. <clears throat> Bonjour, bonjour, all you food-loving animals out there. Now, today I want to talk about shellfish. Now, a shellfish is a fish that lives in a shell. Clever, no? Oui. <laughs> now, here we have the shellfish. But if you ask, how do we break the shell to get the fish? Well, do not worry, mon ami, because Eves will show you a trick he learned from his good friend, Plunk the Sea Otter. Hm. Now, the best way to crack a shellfish is with a small stone. Like so. And you go, whap, 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 whap. <sighs> but this could take months, so we will use a bigger stone. <sighs> like so, and whap, whap, whap. But, but this could take weeks. So to crack this shell, we must have an even bigger stone. Bring me a bigger stone. Oh, oh well. Bon appétit, mes amis. And remember, if she sells seashells on the seashore, then be a little bolder and ask her to buy you an ice cream cone. I wonder if Eve would lend me that big stone. Why? So I could hide behind it when the vulture comes. Oh, Stinky, let's give this vulture a chance. Oh, all right. Okay. And now, from Europe, Egypt, and Central America... America. Guffrey the Vulture. Mm. Well, well, well. I just flew in and, boy, are my wings tied. <laughs> Good to be here, good to be here. Boy, it is so rare that we vultures get to express our side of the story. Well, I'm glad you could make it, Guffrey. Oh, well, thank you, Jake. And, whoa, now this must be stingy. Don't eat me, don't eat me, please, please. I'm alive, I'm dancing, see, I'm dancing here. Okay, okay, let, let, let's, let's forget all that now, and, and let's look at the positive side of vultures. All right, come on. Imagine the clouds. Now, imagine graceful birds with great wings soaring among the clouds, so high up that you can barely see them. Well, all right. Now, feel the wind beneath their wings. Watch as the birds drift for hours into the cool breeze. Yeah, okay, I'm with you so and far. And slowly, gracefully, this beautiful bird soars down to the earth. Well, I gotta admit, it is kind of beautiful. It certainly is. Now imagine that that bird is a vulture. Ew, do I have to? Maybe it's a mother vulture. Yeah. Or a father vulture. Or a grandpa vulture. All different vultures, all part of the vulture family. Just trying to make a life for ourselves. Wow, that's like poetry. Jake. Well, thank you, Jake. But it's just the role we play in the animal world. We eat what we must to survive. But do you have to eat things that have died? Well, that's only part of what we eat. Vultures sometimes eat insects, right? That's right, Jake. Uh, they're very good, but insects are more like an appetizer. You can't make much of a meal out of them. So we have to eat things that have died. Uh, um, sure, sure. And when you vultures eat things that have died, what, well, you're really helping everyone in the animal world. You do that for us? Sure. Uh, you see, Stinky, when a group of vultures see food, they land and share that food. I guess you might say we have healthy appetites. And healthy <laughs> is the word, because by being scavengers and eating what they find, vultures prevent disease from spreading. And those diseases could harm other animals. We help to keep the animal world a little healthier. Uh, you might even say that we're cleaning the environment. Yeah, and in the process, we get a meal. Gee, thanks, Guffrey. I was wrong about you vultures. So... Vultures are okay with you? Yeah, I guess so after all, Guffrey. <laughs> Maybe someday others will be like you and Jake and will understand why vultures do what we do to stay alive. Well, you may be scavengers, but it's a job that has to be done. Mm. Yeah, and because you do it, it helps me and all the other animals out there. You're cool. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Guffrey, for giving us the vulture side of the story. Yeah, yeah well, I better be going. Hey, hey, Guff. Won't you sing us a song before you go? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> Bye, fellas. <laughs> uh, you know, Jake, it's like I always say, vultures are great animals. 
<clears throat> and now here's Guffrey with the, the Vulture Song. Flying high is how I live. Lord, I wish you would forgive what I do to stay alive. I'm in heaven in the sky. Ours is not to wonder why. Take each day and just survive. Please don't judge me. I'm just hungry, aren't you? Soaring, I am soaring, I am soaring. Bye-bye. Well, Stinky, are you ready to meet some more birds? Uh, birds? Where? Where? Oh, no, not up there. On today's Animal Awards. Animal Awards. And now it's time for the Animal Awards. Which of these three birds will win the coveted award for biggest wingspan? Oh, 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 how about me? How about me? Look, look, look here. here. Yes, Nat. Will it be... The Eagle? The albatross. Oh, pretty big. Oh, the pelican. Uh -huh. In third place is the eagle. Well, in second place, the pelican. And the bird with the longest wings is the albatross. Yeah. Mm, congratulations to the albatross. Yeah, have a nice flight. Remember how Plunk the sea otter used rocks as tools? Remember? My foot still hurts from that falling rock. <laughs> well, here's a story about another animal that uses a tool. Watch your toes. Once upon a time, there was a finch named Filbert. Now, most finches like to eat seeds, but not Filbert. Filbert liked bugs. The problem was bugs live in holes, and Filbert's stubby little beak simply couldn't reach inside. Too bad I don't have a pointy beak or a long, sticky tongue, said Filbert. So you know what Filbert did? He got himself a stick. And the beetle just laughed. Can't catch me, he said. We'll see about that, said Filbert. And he poked in the stick, grabbed the beetle, and gobbled him up. Mmm, said Filbert. Now for some dessert. And he knew where he could find a nice, juicy caterpillar, but it was inside an even deeper hole. No problem, said Filbert. Deeper hole, longer stick. So Filbert took a longer stick, and before long, he got his dessert. And from that day on, Filbert was known around the forest as Filbert the Woodpecker Finch. The end. Whoa, Filbert used a stick to get at his food? Yeah. And you call me a picky eater? <laughs> <laughs> It's habitat time, and today we're going to a forest, but don't tell Armstrong. It's not the kind of forest he expects. It's a forest of kelp under the ocean. <laughs> hey, Ollie. Ollie, I I'm ready. We're going to the uh, forest, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, chicken hawks love the forest. Looks mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes, Armstrong, <laughs> the kelp forests are forests of seaweed under the ocean. Did you just say what I think you said? Mm -hmm. Under the ocean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm staying right here. I'm no, not going no, no, anywhere. No, no, no. I'm Come staying on. right here. Come on, we're going to the Pacific Ocean. I am not going under the ocean. And here it is, right here. Help. Not help, Armstrong. Kelp. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> oh, see those floating plants that look like seaweed? Yeah. That's kelp. It grows in all shapes and colors and floats up from the bottom of the ocean. Huh. It's all green. Hey, what is that? Hey, and if you say it's a jellyfish, I'm out of here. It's a jellyfish. I'm out of here. Oh, come along, Armstrong. What? We're going looking for a star. A movie star? 
Now you're talking, old boy, old boy, who is it? The, uh, the star of uh, Voice to the Bottom of the Sea, right? Armstrong, not a movie star. We're looking for a starfish. Oh. Did you know that starfish have hundreds of tiny feet on their underside and a small mouth in the middle? No. What do I look like, a kelp forest expert? <gasps> oh, see that? What are those, uh, flowers? No, those are sea urchins and anemones. They cluster around the base of the kelp. Eh, I guess good kelp is hard to find. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, 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 what's happening here? Hey, where are we going? We're going... We're going up, up, up to the top! Hey, now you're talking. See, Armstrong, in the kelp forest under the waves, there are all different layers of plants and animals. Oh, yeah, well, what do you mean? What, what, what? Ah, well, down here are the sea urchins and the starfish on the bottom, oh, right? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, aren't they pretty? And then, when we get near the top, yeah. we find the sea otter. Sea otters? Of course I see the otter. Oh, <laughs> What's so funny? See the otter? <laughs> Oh, all right, okay, okay. Hey, you know, it looks like he's ready for dinner there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Looks like he's having a takeaway. <laughs> oh, you're a crack-up. Up there. <laughs> well, too bad we can't stay. It's time to go. What, what do you mean? Hey, wait, wait for me, huh? Here we go, up to the top. Where, where are you going? There we hey, go. Hey, Ollie, what up? Ooh, to the surface. Hey, Ollie, that wasn't half bad. See? So, for habitat time, this is Ollie the Tapir. And I'm Armstrong the Chicken Hut. Just back from the kelp forest. Hey, uh, glad we could be of kelp. (laughs) 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 Time for a quiz! Oh, hiya, Tizzy. Got the quizzy? Don't mind him, Tizzy. He's just dizzy. (laughs) Here's that quizzy. I think they're And that is an Egyptian vulture. Do you know how this vulture gets into that egg? Give it a think. Back in the buzz. Ready for the answer? Oh, yeah. Can can we see that vulture again? Yeah, and the egg? Here they are. Here's the question. How does this Egyptian vulture get into that egg? Easy. It drops a rock on it. And the rock cracks the egg right open. Thanks for the quiz, Tizzy. And thanks, Ollie and Armstrong. Bye! See you later. You too, Eves. Goodbye. And a special thanks to Plunk the Sea Otter and Guffrey the Vulture. Bye Bye now. (laughs) And to all you animals out there, until next time, keep on flapping, swimming, hopping, and oh, 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 oh. And always beware of falling rocks. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye. I hit my toes.